yeah, all these units are, of course, long range um, and not melee uh, units. So, um, like I said, a, a cannon right up here on the top would help push this back just a little bit further. And of course, whenever Traven decides to move in here, um, that would just be three cannons here uh, instead of just the two, which these two uh, do create a, a pretty good wall, but uh, not not like a third cannon up here would. Also, Mr. Provo is, of course, getting a uh, an immortal there, which immortals are great uh, against marauders. They do uh, 50 damage um, to... Uh, actually, he did get an upgrade, so it's uh, now 55 damage uh, versus armored, and uh, of course, Marauders are armored, so that is uh, two, uh, three shots, uh, just barely more than two shots there, and they can kill a Marauder, so get a couple of those out, and he looks like he's actually working on uh, Colossus right now, actually not getting the Thermal Lance upgrade, which is uh, is very important, can just now, uh, or could just afford those right before those Zealots came in, so right now he is trying to, uh, to hold as long as he can, and really, um, if he can just hold this, uh, he does have an advantage because he's had his second base up. So as long as he can hold this up uh, long enough to get a good enough army to uh, to break this contain, then he will be in such a position that uh, he does have an advantage over Traven. So Traven is getting siege tanks. It'd be nice if he could place them a little bit further up and maybe go ahead and start taking shots off on these cannons because if he could do that, excuse me, he could start taking, uh, working on these cannons. He's going to put Popo in a really hard position right now. And it looks like Mr. Popo is supply blocked. So that is certainly not going to help uh, here at the moment right now. Um, he does have this watchtower up here with the lone zealot. Um, just trying to keep uh, tabs on everything like that. And really, if he could use uh, chrono boost, he's got full chrono boost. If he could start chrono boosting out uh, some of these colossi, that would really, really be good. And still does not have this extended thermal lance upgrade, yeah, even researching. So things like that would certainly, certainly help him. Uh, however, he is, of course, a random player. And so um, it's it's certainly understandable to to see that uh, he does not quite know all, all the races, the ins and outs. Um, he has admitted before to uh, really not liking a whole lot of Protoss in uh, HFI 1. So, but we do are going to see this medevac out here, going to heal up some things so that stem is a possibility. Right now, um, we don't really see any upgrades. Looks like we do see um, a fusion core actually from Traven. So that uh, could be some battle cruise right here. These zealots uh, here at the front trying to take as much damage as they can while these uh, Colossi here sitting on the back try to do as much damage as they can. It looks like it's going to be closer, but that Colossi just gets taken out due to the fact that these tanks, six kills, three kills, and two kills, just able to sit there at the back doing as much damage as they can. These zealots are going to try to warp in here, but really they just don't have quite enough life. Um, these, of course, those zealots were good because they this tank was doing friendly fire damage, uh, the splash damage, to... Uh, these Marauders and that tank. So it looks like we I thought we were gonna see uh, some sort of drop We've got two medevacs. We can just see a drop of, a, of just a few units even a siege tank right up here and siege it That would create quite a lot of havoc there for uh, Mr. Popo looks like uh, Mr. Popo is forcing uh, is uh, focusing a lot on these just these zealots which zealots with legs are great against Marauders with concussive shells and of course siege tanks because they can just get up on siege tanks so quickly but if we look Traven um, the income right now, Mr. Popo is, he does still have a, a huge advantage with his 43 to 26 harvester uh, advantage. And it's he's get almost uh, between 12 and 1300 uh, mineral income to Traven's around 950. So really, like I said, as long as he can just hold this off, and he almost broke it, broke this contain last time, but uh, just didn't quite last time. So we are going to see mass uh, zealots here from Mr. Popo. Uh, and uh, throwing in a little colossi, you know, a couple of colossi and uh, and zealots is of course uh, a, a viable option. And with these, uh, with these, if the extended thermal lance is now equipped on these colossi, uh, they can start to do a little bit of damage. If he could pull up here on the high ground instead of instead of pulling back here to do the cannons, that if he can sit up here on the high ground, he can actually take a couple of shots possibly here on some of these units. However, uh, these medevacs could float up here and try to spot the high ground for this siege tank. Um, so he is is just barely not being able to break this contain. And uh, if Traven can keep this up for the game, um, then he really could seal the deal. He could really even um, Traven is keeping his uh, his money down a lot, but that's because he does really not have that great of an income. He could even try to start taking a uh, a third base here. And really, I don't think the uh, gold position would be quite the best. 
um, because you could park a Colossus up here and start raining down death on SCVs there. But uh, he could try to expand possibly up here um, or here. But of course, Mr. Popo, if he's keeping a good eye on that minimap, will be able to see it because his zealot does have uh, that Zelnaga Watchtower. So really, the Siege Tanks are winning the day uh, for Traven as of right now. And uh, really, he's just doing the same thing, just getting much, much more of it. So we do see Immortals right here, which Immortals are going to be doing gr are going to be doing great against these siege tanks. If he can focus fire down these, uh, he needs to focus fire down these siege tanks and not worry about hitting the Marines or the Marauders with these Immortals. Uh, really, that's what he needs to be doing. He does have uh, these siege uh, siege tanks taken down, but one battle cruiser. He really doesn't have anything that can attack here, so he's going to have to warp in some walker, some stalkers here really, really quickly. And uh, this one battle cruiser really um, could do quite a lot of damage here, uh, getting that Colossus down. And Popo blinks in, trying to take out. And he, Popo has finally broken this contain. Uh, this battle cruiser does fall. And so now Mr. Popo is going to try to push advantage, realizing that he has just killed his opponent's entire army. He needs to siege up the siege tank. Uh, for Traven and pulling back his SCVs. This ramp is up, however, if he can get this ramp up quickly, he cannot. Uh, this battle cruiser is going to come out and uh, start working away on these zealots. Now, the thing about this battle cruiser, it does it does not have any upgrades. Blink up here, and I'm going to try to take down this battle cruiser, and will actually be able to take it down. Um, battle cruisers take down Immortals so quickly just because their attack is. Uh, he has less than 10, of course, and that works well with their shield. So, Traven does GG. Uh, he was in an excellent position. Just did not keep his macro in a position um, greater than his opponents. And uh, Mr. Popo took advantage of that. So, without further ado, this is an album cover sign-off.